<laughs> I will defeat both of you! <laughs> What's up everybody? My name is Scott and you're watching Kentucky Ballistics. And not too long ago, I bought this little guy and I've been having a lot of fun with it and it got me thinking, how useful would medieval weapons be in the modern era? So today I have a plethora of medieval weapons. I have a ballistic dummy lab zombie torso and I have modern armor. We are gonna put these to the test against medieval weaponry and see how effective they would be or are they outdated. Let's get set up and get started. Okay, first things first, we're gonna see how lethal these things are against an unarmored subject. So. I have a Ballistic Dummy Labs zombie bust right here. And our first weapon, I don't really know the name of it. I really don't know the name of any of the weapons we have today. So I'm just gonna give them my own. This is the spiky meatball on a stick. And I'm just gonna give it a good whack and see what happens. All right, here we go. Um, I bent my stick. That's uh, not very high quality, is it? But I will say that that definitely looks pretty lethal. It wasn't as bad as I thought it would be, but that's still pretty bad. So I was not very impressed with the spiky meatball on a stick. So up next, I've got this thing. Uh, it looks pretty mean. It is very spiky and this is solid. Like this is one solid piece of metal I'm gonna call this the spiky scepter. I got higher hopes for this one. Oh! Yeah, that was, that was pretty gnarly. Um, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm definitely gonna say that's lethal. That's, that's real bad. Oh dear. So I think we've established that medieval weapons are indeed lethal. But now what we're gonna find out is how effective would medieval weaponry be against modern armor? So this is a ballistic helmet. This is rated for most pistol rounds, I think all the way up to 44 Magnum. So we're gonna put this on a new fresh zombie bust and we're gonna take another whack at it with the spiky scepter. Okie dokie. Here we go. Yeah! Well, that definitely looked, oh, it bent it. It bent my spiky scepter. Darn it. And he looks good. He looks solid. Our helmet, we didn't even penetrate it. Doesn't look like we have much damage at all. So, the modern helmet, modern armor, at least against this particular medieval weapon, did a pretty good job. You know, this guy is pretty ugly, but you know what else is ugly? Debt. 
It seems like most people have experienced debt or are currently in debt, and it's really easy to accumulate a lot of it. And once you do, it can be very difficult to dig yourself out. I too have experienced debt, but at the time there were not many options out there. But thankfully now there's companies like today's sponsor, PDS Debt. Hi, Lucan! PDS Debt has customized solutions for anyone struggling with debt, whether it be personal loans, collections, credit cards, or uh, medical bills. Oh, that is quite a mess, and I don't really feel like cleaning that up. But PDS Debt can help you clean up your mess. They will roll all of your monthly payments into one low monthly payment. Everyone with 10,000 or more in eligible debt qualifies and there's no minimum credit score required. Bad and fair credit is accepted. PDS debt will help you to save thousands in interest and fees and help you to pay off your debt in a fraction of the time. Right now, PDS debt is offering a free debt analysis and it only takes 30 seconds. All you gotta do is swing over to pdsdebt.com slash KYB to start your free debt analysis today. Or you can find that link in the description down below. A big thank you to PDS debt for sponsoring today's video. Now, let's get back to it. Okay, well we're gonna go ahead and step it up a little bit. I've got an even bigger spiky ball, but this one's on a chain. I'm gonna give this thing a few swings and See what happens. There we go. Oh, I missed. Darn it. That was a close one. Gonna have to dig, dig this out of the table. <laughs> it's in there good. We almost got it. Maybe I'll hit it this time. One, two, three. Oh! We did some damage to that helmet that time. We've got a pretty good little notch right there, but I don't believe we did any real damage to, oh dear. Well, he's got a little bit of a hemorrhage. Uh, it's just sticking out right there. Oh, uh, just push it back in. No big deal. Not a big deal at all. Just popped right back in there. Also, his skull is kind of cracked. Uh, so we still managed to do quite a bit of damage with this medieval weapon, even with this modern armor. Uh, man, that, is, that was a really hard hit. It's time to get a little more serious and step it up another notch. This here is my meat tenderizer and it has a very pointy spike on the end and I've got high hopes for this one. We almost penetrated the helmet with the spiky ball on a chain, so I think that this one has a pretty good shot. Okay, here we go. Well, I think I could have hit a little bit harder, but we hit right there. And there is a good little pinhole right there. But I think we can do better. I was kind of afraid I was gonna break this thing, but I'm gonna be a little braver this time. Also, I can't see anything. And where's my helmet? There you go. Let's have a look, shall we? I hit that really hard, and I'm not really sure where I even hit, to be quite honest. I think right there is where that Velcro patch is. Oh. Oh, I think we made it through, actually. Let me take out this pad. Yeah, we've got a little hole right there and then if you look right here we've got a little new notch right there with a little hole so we didn't make it very far through the helmet but we did make it through the helmet and honestly i think that's pretty impressive before we move on let's go ahead and take a whack with the hammer portion of this 
and an unarmored subject. Oh, gosh! I'm gonna say this is pretty effective. I would definitely wanna be wearing some sort of a helmet if somebody had one of these, because that uh, that was just pretty awful. That's that's pretty awful. And I got it on my pants. Darn it. Luckily though, I did not get well I did. I got some on my shirt. Just a little bit. But it's still okay. If you would like to pick up one of my limited edition three-year anniversary shirts that does not have blue stains on it, you should swing over to KentuckyBallistics.com. There's a link in the description down below. And while you're at it, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit that bell for notifications. I feel like this is what the cleanup crew was like back in the gladiator days, you know, and I'm just clearing all this off here. Poor Jim. Okay, it is time to move on to a full-blown zombie torso. I'm placing the armored helmet on it and we have some Premier Body Armor Soft Armor. This is level 3A and it's rated up to 44 Magnum. Now, I don't really expect this next weapon to penetrate said soft armor, but we're gonna take a whack at it anyways. So obviously we did not penetrate the body armor. His head is, oh, oh, that's not good. Um, I think there's a good chance his head might fall off. So I can feel a pop. <coughs> Nothing a little duct tape can't fix. Let's put that right there. Just kind of pull his head back. <laughs> So when it comes to this soft armor, I'm a lot more interested in pointy and sharp weaponry than I am blunt force weaponry. So we have us a sword and I'm gonna take a whack at this thing this way and I'm gonna try to stab it and see if the modern soft armor will hold up to this medieval masterpiece. Oh! Oh dear, okay, we need to check that out. We cut this whole part of the carrier and we cut into that armor just a tad. We definitely didn't make it all the way through it, but my goodness, that is actually pretty darn sharp. Okay, I got some gloves on now. I am going to try to stab and then I'm gonna take one more whack at the swinging, but we'll try to slice a little more. All right, here we go. You got, well, wow, actually, you know what? We may have done more damage than I thought. Let's take this off here. Ooh. Okay. It's all good and cut up. We can just kind of rip that off there. I actually cut through quite a few layers. But we did not make it through the back. So it seems like our path to victory today when it comes to medieval weapons against modern armor is having something pointy. So up next, we have a spear. Okay, now the next question is, am I actually gonna be able to hit him? So, ain't nothing to it but to do it, right? Yeah! Oh, we actually hit it. Yeah, I don't think that we made it through. That bounced right off of there. I'm gonna take another whack at this. I'm not really sure what the proper technique is for spear throwing, but I'm just gonna try to throw it harder well, 
I can feel a little bit of a bulge, but it did not make it through it. Man, that is not going in. Like, that is really tough. Power! Yeah! Oh! I tell you what, I'm feeling pretty good about my spear throwing technique. That's pretty effective right there. And you definitely, oh, oh, yep. That would do it. I would definitely want to be wearing my body armor. Not so much luck with the spear, but I feel pretty good about the old meat tenderizer. I think I may be able to drive that through there. We're gonna take a shot at it. So, let's see here, one, two, three. Hey! Oh! Yep, that did it! That went right through that soft armor and it looks like we hit... That's where we hit. Right in that spot. Right there! Oh! Yeah. So for my final weapon today, I have the four bore of swords. This is a nine foot long claymore. Oh, this thing's a little hard to wield. Okay, here we go. Okay, I don't know who constructed this sword, but it wasn't made for a man of my stature, apparently. I guess I put a lot of force behind that, and it's, uh, well, it's bent, and the handle broke off. Wow, I'm so happy that I didn't pay, like, $1,500 for that sword, because I totally, totally didn't. Um, Let's take a look at uh, Mr. Zombie here. Um, I hit the strap and we did absolutely nothing. Not a darn thing. He's perfectly fine. Did I hit him? Yep. Oh. Oh, okay. Well, that was pretty effective. Uh, not bad for a dull sword. That sword does not have an edge on it. Okay, now let's see what I can do with a smaller sword that I can maneuver better and has quite an edge on it. Sha! Sha! Okay, yeah, that was definitely more effective. Um, Right there is a pretty good shot. That's um, way more effective than the bigger sword.
have come to the conclusion that medieval weapons are no longer relevant, at least in my humble opinion. We had a very hard time defeating modern armor with medieval weapons, and honestly, I had a hard time in general defeating a zombie torso with the medieval weapons. I mean, I did more damage with my mini bike than I did with all of my weapons combined. So I'm gonna go ahead and say that that's a no-go for me and I'm gonna stick with modern technology. Let me know what you thought about them in the comment section down below. And while you're at it, be sure and give today's video a like and be sure and hit that subscribe button. Also be sure and check me out on all social media platforms. Links to all those can be found in the description down below along with a link to KentuckyBallistics.com just in case you wanna pick up one of my limited shirts. And as always, my name is Scott. Thank you so much for watching Kentucky Ballistics.